Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So in this video, we are going to talk about GATE and VLSI placements and VLSI internships. So this video will be helpful for all the second year students and third year students. So there would be some guys, uh, whether you are from IIT or NIT or some uh, private college where some companies are visiting their campus and uh, some guys would be there. They will be saying that, sir, I will be preparing for placements or internship. I will be applying in these companies and uh, I will be getting placed or I will be getting the internship through campus opportunities. I specifically want to prepare for placements only. So look, no matter whether you, you are from IIT or NIT or from, or from some private college, if you are aiming for VLSI placements, then you should always prepare for gate examination. And there are a lot of benefit of preparing for gate examination. Let's just say you are sitting in the campus placement, you are completely prepared, but still it might happen that you, you might not be able to get job through campus because number of opportunities in our domain are limited, right? It's not like software jobs. Like even in the, in the software jobs, if you don't get placed through campus, then there is very high chance that some jobs of 5 lakh to 6 lakh or 7 lakh you will be able to get off campus. But this does not happen in our domain. Either we will get placed in the campus and when we get placed in the campus, we get placed with a very handsome package, right? But in our domain, getting off campus job for 7 to 8 lakhs or 9 lakhs, that is very, very difficult. Either we are having very high paying jobs or we are having very less paying jobs. There is nothing in between. That is the sad reality and getting, getting off campus job in our domain, very, very difficult task. Right. So even if you are preparing for placements, keep gate as ba backup. As a backup, gate should be there because let's just say in the worst case, if you are not getting placed, then you can get uh, into masters for your placements or for learning purpose as well. So you can surely get into masters. Along with that, if you feel like that, sir, after the BTEC only I need some job, then with the gate scorecard, you can get into PSUs as well. Or if you have the knowledge of GATE syllabus, then you can apply in any PSU, you will be getting some job for sure. Are you able to understand this point? And uh, once you get into the industry, like once you get into VLSI industry, you would, you would realize that whether I am working for analog engineer or digital engineer, the knowledge of all the subjects are required. Let's just say I am getting placed for analog engineer. So it's not that I will be using only network and analog. There would be a lot of concepts of transmission line, smith chart, uh, signal system, control systems. All these concepts will also be required in the industry. So a whole knowledge is required. Are you able to understand this point? So if you have a good enough knowledge for all the core EC subject or, or for your gate syllabus only, then it would be good enough for you. So always preparing for gate examination along with the campus placement that is always, always recommended. Is that clear to you? I am saying it from 2020 onwards and when I was a student as well, right, when I was in my second year, third year, I also prepared for gate examination. Along with that, I prepared for internships as well and placements as well. So let's get started. A brief roadmap, I will be telling that which subject you can do in your which semester. So first, I will be telling for those guys who are currently in second year. So they are currently in third semester, right? So you guys, you guys are having two months of this third semester and there will be winter break as well. Now, one month would be going into your end semester examination and your summer extracurricular work. So effectively, one month of the semester you are having and one month of the winter break you are having. And in this time, you can cover network analysis, signal system and EDC because these subjects are there in your curriculum as well, right? In the third sem semester, in the third semester, in the syllabus, you are having network analysis as well. You are having signal system as well and you are having EDC as well. Say yes or no. Right? In the in most of the colleges, this will be the syllabus. I am pretty sure. Then in the fourth semester, you will have analog electronics, you will have digital electronics as well. So those you can do. Along with that, for placements, COA will also be required, Verilog will also be required, and general aptitude will also be required. So you will be having the summer break, right? You will be having your semester timing as well. In those time, in those seven months, you can cover these subjects. And now, when you move to the fifth semester, August and September will be going for the internships like company would, companies would be coming you will be interviewed you you will be writing on the online written test so if you are getting internship then it is good if you are not getting internship then get back to your gate preparation again right like till the september month you would get to know that whether i am getting internship or not after september there is no internship right most to, mostly in most of the colleges after september there is very less chance of internships right most of the chances are there that if you have covered these many subjects in a good manner 
from a good resource, then there is very high chance that you will be getting the internship. If you do not get the internship, then we will get back to our gate provision again. We will have campus placement as well, right? But campus placement will come after one year. It is uh, it will not be worth it to spend one year on all the subjects that we have already studied. Like I will not say that again start studying network analysis, again start studying analog electronics. You have already studied all these subjects. It is just that luck did not favor you and you did not get the internship. So what you will do? In your fab month, there will be gate examination, which you can write down in your third year only, right? So you would prepare for that. Subjects left would be MFT, communication, engineering, mathematics and control system. So you will try to cover as much as you can and you will give a very fair attempt in your third year for gate examination as well. So in that manner, you need to prepare. I also prepared in the same way. I exactly remember I also prepared in the same way. So I ended up getting internship as well and I ended up getting AIR 27 in gate EC as well in third year itself. So you can also do. So in that manner, you can proceed. Is that clear to you? Sir, what all things I need to take care? Everything I will tell you. Just hold on to this video. Okay. But now I will be talking about third year students, those who are currently in third year. So either you have already got the internship or you failed there. Right. Now, those guys who have already got the internship, they are not watching this video, I guess. Because they are confident enough that they will get the PPO and their life is set. But believe me, guys, if you got if you got the internship and if you are watching this video, then keep preparing for gate and keep preparing for placements. Because in those two months, you will be doing the internship and at that time, you will not get any time to revise your concepts, right? And what if in the worst case, you do not end up getting PPU? You will not have any job at that time. You will come to the campus and in the August month only, companies would start coming and they will start taking the written test and interviews. So you do not get any time during the internship time, right? You do not get you did not get any time during the internship time to revise your notes. Now they are coming and they are asking questions. They are asking questions from your notes only. And then it will be a very depressing time for you. So I see a lot of guys. They ask me that, sir, I have got the internship offer. I will be doing my internship from May to July. What should I prepare now so that I can pre perform well in the internship? Look. Internship would be taking place in these three months only in those three months only you will be learning there You will be implementing there. So everything will happen in those three months only you cannot prepare anything beforehand But what you can do you can prepare for placements What I mean to say is that don't drop your notes Whatever that you have already studied just keep on revising that at least So that during the internship time when you don't get enough time for revising the notes and in the worst case, let's just say you don't end up getting the PPO, then at least when you come back to the campus, you will have a fair chance to sit in the campus placement. Okay. It happened with me as well. I did not get the PPO, but I never dropped my notes. I always kept on revising my notes and I did not end up getting the PPO. I came to the campus after five to 10 days only the company again came back. I again gave the interview and got selected. Okay, so always, always keep on studying. Now, coming to those guys who did not get any internship offer, they are preparing for placements. Along with that, as a backup, they are preparing for gate examination as well. So, what you are, what you guys would be doing? Sir, fifth semester is there. As of now, I will be involved in my uh, coursework. Along with that, uh, there will be end semester examination as well. But you guys have decent enough time left, right? Decent enough time is there. So, what you can do? You can cover network analysis analog electronics and digital electronics in this one month along with that there will be one month of a winter break as well so in these two months you can cover these subjects now in the sixth semester what you will do you will be studying signal systems edc aptitude verilog and coa there will be summer break as well there will be two months of summer break now in these two months of summer break you will be doing the internship as well like everyone would be doing the internship it is i am not saying that it is necessary to do, to do the it is necessary to do the internship. No, I am not saying that. But uh, most of the guys would be doing some internship by the end of six semester, right? So you will get lesser time in this in this uh, summer break. So that's why I am saying signal system ADC. You try doing it with your semester only, and in the summer break you try doing very low COA and whatever that you have previously studied, like network, analog, and digital, that you need to revise as well, right? You need to revise that as well. Why it is necessary? Because after some months, your campus placement will also be starting. Now, till September onwards, 
like uh, if you are from nit then uh, till september you would be getting to know that whether i am getting placed or not till september or latest by october you will be getting to know whether i am getting placed or not and if you are from iit then in december you will be getting to know whether you are getting placed or not right if you are from iit then in december most of the campus placement would be done so after september onwards or after october onwards you can get started with the gate preparation again you can cover mft communication engineering mathematics and control systems so as much as you can that you need to prepare in your sixth, seventh semester so in that manner you need to proceed so till sixth semester we are trying to cover everything that would be required for your placements and after that we are covering whatever that is left if we are getting placed then it would be good for us then we can proceed in our preparation with more confidence in the worst case if if we are not getting placed then still we have a very good backup because we have covered a lot of subjects now if we cover a few more subjects then we would be good to go for the gate examination and something good we can surely do in the gate examination is that okay for you is this roadmap clear to you or not okay so this is how we can proceed in our profession so this was for third year and for second year i have already told now you guys need to watch these two videos gate 2027 preparation strategy for college going student this i am telling for both second year and third year okay so in this uh, video i am telling what all the things you should do in college like how you need to proceed in your college look you are currently in second year or in third year you might be thinking sir we are seniors and there is some ego in you right college ke second year third year ke bande mein jitna ego hota hai mereko pata hai kitna ego hota hai tumme theek hai tum logon ko lag raha hai first year aaya inke ye batch hi bahut kharab aaya hai इनको कुछ नहीं आता बट रियलिटी है कि आपको भी कुछ नहीं आता ठीक है वो खैर दिक्कत ये है कि आपके सीनियर्स ने आपको बताया नहीं है आप सेकंड ईयर में हो थर्ड ईयर में हो आपको भी ज़्यादा कुछ पता नहीं है तो एज ए कॉलेज सीनियर क्या चीज़ आपको कैसे आपको गाइड करना चाहिए था वो मैं इस वीडियो में गाइड कर रहा हूँ तो इस वीडियो में मैं एक फोर्थ ईयर का स्टूडेंट बन बात कर रहा हूँ ना कि एक एजुकेटर बन ठीक है तो ये वीडियो जरूर से देखना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू गो टू द कमेंट सेक्शन एज वेल इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट लाइक अलाउट ऑफ माई कोर्स एंड्रॉल स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर दे हैव गिवन द रिव्यू ऑफ माई कोर्स ओके सो रिव्यू ऑफ आवर कोर्स इज देयर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर करंटली एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स एंड दिस इज आवर बैच ओरिएंटेशन गेट टू ट्वेंटी सेवन बैच ओरिएंटेशन सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट एज वेल फॉर प्लेसमेंट एज वेल एवरीथिंग वट एवर दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इन द मिनिमम प्राइस सो यू कैन वॉच दिस बैच ओरिएंटेशन वीडियो एज वेल वट ऑल थिंग्स यू विल बी गेटिंग इन द बैच ओके so these two videos this video you should surely watch and if you are interested in our course then you can watch this course oriented video as well okay so in this video we are talking about everything that you are getting in this gate 127 course so in brief i can tell that what all things you will get after the after watching the video you will be asking sir what is the promo code so promo code is gate g a t e you can apply this promo code and uh, this titans batch will be available in 9769 and uh, pathfinders batch will be available in 7519 now sir what is this titans batch what is this pathfinders batch so every information you will get here in brief i can tell like what all are the features of our course so all the subjects i will be taking all the 10 subjects for ec i will be taking okay digital electronics already there signal system i, I have already made analog electronics aptitude already there network theory already there control system is there from the anish sir side from anish sir side but i will also i will also be taking it in july 2026 okay next year in july i will i will be taking control system as of now it is available from anish sir side right then engineering mathematics as of now it is available from the side of anish sir but i will also be taking it in april 2026 then all the core subject emft edc communication all are available from my side only okay so approximately 950 hours of uh, content is there along with that uh, you will be getting the test series as well test series quality problems are there a lot of free test series are also available on our website you can go and attempt those test series you would see what is the actual meaning of quality problems along with that there are video solutions as well now what kind of content is there sir i have seen the comment section who knows you have paid those guys right those comments could be paid as well because a lot of paid con co comments are available nowadays so you can also do the same thing so forget about the comments check the content on your own go to mft you might have studied smith chart you feel like that sir smith chart was a very very complex topic was the video transmission line was the video these are the free courses available fully free courses available study network analysis from here you felt like sir transient was a very complex topic was the rc circuit video okay aptitude you can watch a lot of videos a lot of topics would be there in digital electronics you might feel like sir combination circuit was a very complex topic or number system is very confusing so was the video of number system here a lot of free content is available sir fourier transform fourier series how those formula came into action 
वॉज द वीडियो देर इज नथिंग टू मग अप लाइक कोर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिग्नल सिस्टम कोर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लाइक अ प्योर क्वालिटी वोट एवर दैट यू से दैट विल बी अवेलेबल हेयर यू कैन वॉज द फ्री कॉन्टेंट अ लॉट ऑफ फ्री कॉन्टेंट इज अवेलेबल यू कैन श्योरली रिव्यू द कॉन्टेंट एंड गेट टू नो दैट वोट काइंड ऑफ डेप्थ हैज बिन कवर्ड ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म एंड दिस इन दिस वीडियो यू विल फाइंड आउट दैट रिव्यूज एज वेल ओके along with that we are having doubts polling as well so this is our telegram this is our whatsapp group for the students who are currently enrolled in our course so you can just see that 1030 photos are there in this group this is just the photos not that text so daily we, we clear a lot of doubts so when we talk about doubt solving it's not that just for the sake of doubt solving we are saying it i and anish sir both are involved in this group and a lot of students are also there so a great great doubt doubt solving is also there by weekly guidance session is also there like uh, once you enroll in the course after every second saturday this is just a text from anisar side so after every second saturday we come on google meet live i and anisar both will come live and we will be taking your query okay one by one we take your query so this session goes for around 2.5 hours sometime it goes for 3 hours as well so whatever the queries that you are having that sir sir currently i am studying this subject that subject what next i should do this is my current progress this is how i am proceeding so every single thing we discuss here in this particular session and then we give you the notes as well so you don't need to make your own notes because you don't have enough time right this is the bottom line we we are not having enough time for our preparation so we give you the printable notes as well and the slides as well if you want to annotate on your device then you can use the slides along with that printable notes are also there so a lot of notes are available on our telegram group you can check what kind of quality of the notes we give then complete placement preparation and everything is also there like not just the gate preparation like whatever that is required for your vlsi placements you need to study verilog coa digital electronics analog electronics analog design whatever that you need whatever that you need to study for your placements that is also available and uh, more features are there like uh, revision videos will be making solution to important pyqs are there assignment problems are there all these features are also there okay and then comparing the batches there are two batches pathfinders and titans so these are the features in in, uh, in titans batch and these are the features in pathfinders batch okay so in here just i have given in the i have given the introduction in brief only but if you want the complete orientation then you can watch the video which i previously showed okay so you can watch those videos and how you can access and purchase the course you can visit the website prepfusion.in there you can purchase the course the promo code is you can see the promo code promo code is gate g a t e so you watch this particular video in this video you will get to know what what all things are there in their course so this is this is the path from where you can prepare for gate as well and vlsi placements as well so yeah that's it that's it about this video i hope now you have a clear idea how you should proceed in your second year and third year after watching these two videos you will have much much clearer idea how you should proceed okay then yeah thank you very much happy